What is happening with Cuba policy and the United States, there is no single community on earth, including Cuba, that is going to benefit more than the Florida Keys. This is a natural jumping off point. It is a multicultural community whose basis was its relationship with Cuba. At one point, the richest city in all, the United, in all of Florida was Key West. And it was because of its relationship as rappers and uh, cigar makers here. So it created a vibrant community. By the way, much bigger, Key West was much bigger uh, then than it is today. So, and it was because of that relationship. If you, if you have the chance to visit uh, the cemetery in Key West, and you look at all the names on those tombstones, you realize a huge percentage of them are Hispanic names. Because many of the first settlers were people from Cuba. Cuba's founding patriot, Jose Marti, spoke in downtown Key West, spoke at the San Carlos Institute. So the Key West community was an integral part of that communication, of that, of that translation from the United States to Cuba and from Cuba to the United States. Cuba is an evolving place and clearly the, it isn't going to have the amenities, the, the things we have here, right? Because we are a very developed, uh, high-end market for tourism. But it's going to be a place to go to. It's going to be a place to skip over, see it a few days, and then come back here. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going to be left to be completed to achieve what we have here. But the reality is it gives us an opportunity, both culturally, uh, it gives us an opportunity to sports, it gives an opportunity to link with a, a community that's basically coming out of isolation that has uh, been in this position for almost half a century. And, there are a lot of things that don't work in Cuba. We have to be clear about that. This is no paradise. But what we are doing is helping that country move forward. And that's good for us, and it's good for Cuba.